Hey Lumberjacks and Lumberjanes, it is Rick with Stumps and I'm back today playing more Civilization V in Rico Dandolo Edition and last episode, as you can see, we went to war with Pachacuti over here, the Incans, uh, along with the rest of the world. The rest of the world hated him and I jumped on that bandwagon and I was like, yeah, I'll use this excuse to take that city and solidify my control over this island over here. Uh, after this war is done, after the city is taken, then I think that I'll go ahead and declare peace. But we are up against a tough competition, guys. We can only really go one of a few ways uh, with our victory conditions here. We're not going to be able to catch up technologically. We're going to have to win diplomatically, or we're going to have to win by sheer force. And I think sheer force is going to be the best route to go this time, guys. So after I finish this war, I think I'm going to bring my war over here to the west and take on France, because France has been a thorn in my side. I'm trying to win favor of all these city-states, and France keeps butting in and taking over. As you can see, we've been warring over favor for Vatican City, and he, I've been buying the favor of the Vatican City. He's been buying it out from under me. I'm getting sick of it. I'm going to put this spy into a uh, city-state here. I'm going to put it into Bucharest, and we are going to continue this game. First, though, I'm going to go ahead and pick a tech, because we moved out of... The modern era last episode and we are moving into the atomic era and i'm going to go ahead and research atomic theory so i can start working on a nuke everybody else is getting atomic theory and i need to get nukes guys i need to get nukes and catch up now it's time to take the city and in order to do that i'm going to go ahead and sneak this destroyer up around the back side of the city and with these guys i'm just going to start raining hellfire down here until i capture it now, I've got a privateer here, which needs to be upgraded to a destroyer, so now I've got a couple destroyers to use. I have just researched atomic theory, which has unveiled uranium on the map, and let's go ahead and see here. Look at that. I've got uranium, everybody. I have got how much uranium? I have four uranium over here, which means I'm going to need a worker to get that uranium, but that's going to be four nuclear bombs. And I've also got a great engineer over here in Cahokia, so I'm going to have to go send him over to Venice because he can't do anything in Cahokia because I can't actually build things in Cahokia. Going, we're gonna probably take this city this time. We're coming very close. Okay, actually, it's probably gonna be next time. And I'm wondering what happened to that submarine because there was a submarine around here before. Interesting, it's gone now. And we do need to research a policy and I'm actually beginning to wonder if we shouldn't just go ahead and give in to our citizens demand that we go ahead and switch over to autocracy now if I do this we'll probably be happier and if I'm going to go warmongering then that's probably the smart thing to do because autocracy is definitely the warmongering ideology so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna get it done right now now we're gonna stop producing science and we're gonna stop our production for a while just for a few turns but it should pay off in the long run. Now, what are we gonna choose? We get to go ahead and choose some uh, policies in autocracy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do wounded military units, inflict 25% more damage than usual. That's a good one. And I get to choose a research now. And what are we gonna research? We're gonna research nuclear fission, which we're gonna get after radar. And that's gonna allow us to use nuclear bombs. You will not regret your move to autocracy. Ah, Theodora, she's stoked about that. We've got some buddies. Ah, and you want to be friends with us, eh, Poland? I'm going to say, yeah, let's go ahead. Us warmongers, we got to stick together. Ah, uh, but Assyria, not happy. Not happy that I'm friends with Poland. Neither is Dido. Sorry about that, Dido. Ah, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, also not happy about my friends, my friends with Poland. Ah, uh, but France, super stoked. Okay, so not everybody's upset about that deal. All right, I get to upgrade some stuff here. There we go. I'm going to give you the heal promotion just so we can finish taking this guy out. And I'm going to go ahead and give you the strength against land units promotion. And now you, you're going to go ahead and take the city. Bam. Create a puppet government. And there we go. Now Pachacuti City is now ours. And can I make peace with him yet? I wonder. I cannot. It's going to take four turns before I'm able to make peace with him. But I will make peace with him after those four turns are done. And actually, you're going to move back a little bit. I don't want to get bombarded by that artillery. There we go. 
And I've got a cargo ship here that is ready to go trade. And we're going to have to build more cargo ships, as a matter of fact. I want to trade with all of the city-states so I can get in super close with them. There we go. You want open borders? No, but I will give you a research agreement. How about that, buddy? How about that, friend? Now, I'm not too concerned about this city over here because he can bombard us. No, but he doesn't have any units that can actually take the city. You can't take it with a mobile SAM. You can't take it with artillery. Uh, looks like France is also following autocracy. Okay, so I know who my friends are now. And Pachacuti wants to make peace. You got it, buddy. Back at peace with Pachacuti and the world is right again. You do not get open borders. But we do need to start plotting our next war. And Napoleon the Terrible of France. Ooh, that sounds ominous. And since we're such good friends with Poland and France, I'm going to spare France for the moment. I think that we're going to actually move down here and start to go to war with Theodora. I think that's going to be our next victim. And I'm going to need to beef up my navy just a little bit before we do that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep trading. I'm going to go ahead and build up my trade routes in the meantime. And all of our ships are still alive here. We're going to need some more oil, I think, if we want to build more battleships. We can build as many destroyers and submarines as we want, though. And what are we going to produce? We're going to go ahead and do another cargo ship because it only takes a single turn to do that. And we're going to go ahead and select... Let's see. Let's see. You want science funding and you want scholars and residents, eh? Civs research attack 20% more quickly if it's been discovered by at least another civ. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Scholars and residents because we need to catch up on that tech. All right. Ooh, interesting. Francis Casimir is plotting against us, which I don't want to believe because we've become such great friends. Come on, Casimir. Don't do me wrong, baby. All right, we need to pick another policy in the autocracy tree. What is, what's it going to be this time? Gold, a purchasing units reduced by 33%. That's pretty good. Also, uh, spies steal technology at twice the normal weight. Uh, militaristic city says grant twice as often. Happiness from every castle, arsenal, and military base, or happiness from every national wonder. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That gave us an extra eight happiness, which ain't too shabby. And we need to go trade with our cargo ship. Let's go ahead and finish up these routes. There you go. We're going to go ahead and finish up that route as well. And you guys are just going to wait to go to war. Now I see that Theodora, I think that she's sensing that war is impending. Because she's starting to beef up her city there. Now, I really want to take out that city. And what are we going to need to do it? I just created another submarine, which is good. That helped me take out any of the battleships that she has. And let's see, what else are we going to do? What, what are we going to create? I'm going to create a carrier, all right? Because when we create a nuclear bomb, I can put them onto a carrier. And then we can take the carrier into another city and then nuke the hell out of them. And if I'm going to go full warmonger, then the nukes, they're, they're, they're going to be a part of that formula. Our spies have uncovered that Nebuchadnezzar's plotting against you. Oh. So France says Casimir's plotting against us. Casimir says that Nebuchadnezzar's plotting against us. The plot thickens. Now, you want to go to war with Theodora, and I already said, yeah, I'll do that. So give me 10 turns, dude. All right. Now, you want to go to war with Theodora and me? Now, I don't know about that. I, I don't know. I, I feel like somebody has some bad info. But here we go. Our merchant is ready to do his trade deal with Malacca. Now, check this out. Bam! Malacca is now us. No longer friends with Malacca because uh, Malacca is a city of ours now. Hello, Malacca. Welcome to the fold. Now, time to choose production. What are we going to produce? The Manhattan Project. That's what. We want some nuclear bombs. We're going to bomb some stuff. And we want to go to war with Theodora as well. So let's go ahead and start thinking about that, huh? Hmm. Do I have a big enough army to do this? I kind of have a pretty good size army. And I guess there's no time like the present. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and start preparing for this battle. Uh, Actually, I'm getting five oil from them. Huh. It's just gonna give me one less oil, so I need to find oil from somebody else before I declare war on her. 
Let's see, Vatican City, 86 influence. I could get it from Vatican City, but I'm not gonna be able to hold it for long. No, Vatican City has coal. Let's see, who has oil? Yerevan has oil. And I need 66 influence. Here we go. I can get 70 by giving you that. There we go. Now I've got plenty of oil. I can declare war on you without having to worry about anything. Yes, declare Yay. war. There we go. And let's go ahead and start invading now. So this is a Byzantine ship. I can go ahead and blow you up there. And it looks like I've got a Byzantine... submarine as well. There we go. Oh, we've got a lot of Byzantine ships in here, actually. Look at this, would you? Let's see, this submarine's gonna go in and... You're gonna start building a railroad. There we go. You're gonna stay put. Stay put, Ski. Okay, what else do we have? There we go, we're just gonna bombard. Yeah, bombard you real good. I think that was a pretty good push. Pretty good first push. Let's go ahead and send our ships in now. You're going to wait for that bomb. All right, buddy. Venice needs production. And now it's time to produce an atomic bomb. Because we can. The atomic bomb is going to be just what we need to give us the respect we deserve in this world. Oh, 200 gold plundered from a cargo ship. Well, ain't that something. All right, we're about to take Adrianopoli, our first Byzantian city. It will be ours. Oh, yes, it will be ours. Here we go. I'm going to swap out spots here with this submarine. Let him do a little bit of healing. And now it's time. There we go. Let's just bombard the hell out of them. There we go. And Constantinople is going to be next, as is this city right here. We get to promote a unit. Ah, you've been promoted. Congratulations. Um, here, before I promote you, I'm going to see. Let's see. What am I going to do? Promote. We're just going to heal you up. There we go. Interestingly enough, this Byzantian battleship has just been sitting there for a long time. Just listlessly waiting. And a great scientist has been born. So we're going to just go ahead and start attacking here. There we go. You should be able to take this now. Bam! And we met Manila. And we created a puppet government. Look at us go. Let's move in a little bit closer here and take out the land forces. There we go. Just finish them off there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you're just going to heal up now. Heal it up. I'm going to try to bring that great merchant over and spend him. We're going to try to create a... Uh, new city-state. Well, a new city out of the city-state, rather. And now we get to get our next tech. We've got computers researched. Time to research penicillin. Alright, we've got three techs left in the atomic era. We've got to take care of. And we got to start moving towards Constantinople to take this city over. I think we're going to do it, guys. Now, are we going to win? Not quite sure. But are we going to take Theodore's land that much? I'm pretty sure of. We're going to do that. Oh, yes. Our atomic bomb's been built. And there it is. It's on our aircraft carrier now. And I'm going to build another atomic bomb. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adopt a policy here. We're going to adopt the... Let's see. What are we going to adopt? I think that we're going to adopt the... Plus two happiness from Barracks Armory and Military Academy. There we go. And apparently, we don't have any of those. So that didn't give us any boost to our happiness, unfortunately. Now, our carrier can start to move. It does have a nuclear bomb on it, which is awesome. That should strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. And actually, these ships are ready to move, so... This guy still needs to heal up, but just barely. All right, it looks like Embargo Byzantium is on, and so are the International Games. I'm going to go ahead and Embargo Byzantium, because I feel pretty confident the International Games will pass without my votes. Oh, great one. My hope is that you will long serve as a paragon of strength and virtue for lesser leaders such as myself. Oh, look who's becoming afraid now that I've got a nuke. Oh, look at this. It's clear to all that you are wise and mighty. 
I ask that you might also be compassionate towards those like myself who are weak. Oh, look at them all cower in fear. Oh, look at Dino's afraid too. Now that I've got a nuclear bomb, everybody's afraid of me. Even Nebuchadnezzar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'll make a deal with you, buddy. You're afraid too. Napoleon was afraid. Look at this. Look at everybody who's afraid. Pachacuti's the only one who's guarded and not afraid of me. And I'm pretty sure if Theodora weren't at war, she would be afraid as well. Wow. Wow, how the tides have changed. Okay, Nicaea's gonna go last, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to take over this place right now. And I've got that nuke on here, so I'm gonna start bringing it in. Can I actually use the nuke yet? I don't think I can. I don't think I can nuke the city. I can! Holy crap! I just nuked Constantinople! Look at that! Oh my goodness! The world will probably never forgive me. And I'm gonna buy you, Kabul. Kabul is now mine. Another great merchant has been born. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? We've got the greatest merchants in the world. I'm gonna move you guys in and it's gonna be great. Okay, uh, and what do we got now? Cargo ship needs to trade. We're gonna trade with our previous route there. There we go, that's fine. We're just gonna stick with that. Actually, we're gonna send you back up north because we need to load up another nuke once that's ready. And, oh, looks like this guy's gonna try to take back this uh, city. It ain't gonna happen, though. We're gonna make sure of that. And there is our great merchant. So what city state are we going to buy next? I think that we should just buy Ant, just because we can. We may as well. And I've got another great general who's been born. Or great admirable. <laughs> great admirable. What is wrong with me? Great admiral. Admirable admiral has been born. And we've got a missionary as well. Crazy. What's this missionary all about? Go spread some Eastern Orthodoxy. People who like shiny things the most, we are number one. That's right, guys. We're rich. We're rich, suckas. All right, now we're going to start bombarding. Here we go. We're hardly doing any damage because Constantinople is pretty beefed up. Here we go. Destroyed that sub. That's great. Speaking of subs, we need to move this one down. There we go. And you are just going to move back up there. We've got three turns left until our next nuke is built, which is pretty good. And we just need to start taking out this guy. There we go. The threat of losing that city is now gone. And we are going to buy Ant. There we go. Now we're unhappy, though. Interesting. Oh, she wants to offer me a peace treaty, and she wants to give me Nicaea. Oh, so interesting. I don't know if I should do this or not. I'm going to say no. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Now, she's offering me a city, which leads me to believe she doesn't think that she has a prayer of winning this war. And I would have to agree. I don't think she has a prayer of winning this war either. And I'm about ready to build this nuke, which I'm going to be able to load up. I didn't even invest in this competition. Look at this. Oh, apparently I did. Some of my cities were actually investing. And I actually won uh, the bronze, which is going to give me plus three happiness. That's great. Good to know that some cities were actually investing in that. Cities that I had no control over. And now I do have a nuclear bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and load that onto our ship here. And now I'm going to bring that bomb down here. And I think that we're just going to nuke Constantinople one more time. And now we need to choose production. And you know what I'm going to produce. I'm going to keep producing these bombs. I'm going to keep on doing it. Everybody's still really afraid of me. Except for Casimir, strangely. Oh, never mind. He went from friendly to afraid. Pachacuti's the only one who's standing tough and being like, I'm not afraid of you. But he will learn to be afraid of me, okay? He will learn in time. And here's what we're going to do again. Bam! Constantinople has been blown up again. Oh, it's so... So, so rough. The humanity. Oh, the humanity. Adopt a policy. Which policy are we going to adopt? 
plus 25% attack bonus to all military units for the first 50 turns after this. That is huge. Gain six more influence at standard speed per city state that you can demand a tribute from or plus 50 tourism to civilizations fighting a common enemy. I'm going to take the plus 25 attack bonus. That's huge. That is a great one right there. And we've got to sign delegates for a world leader. Man, I am not doing so hot right now. I've only got eight, uh, but I don't even care. I'm going to vote for myself, of course. There we go. Voted for myself. Constantinople is going to fall. You will be ours. And we have entered into the new era. We are in the information era. And just as an added bonus, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just take Constantinople for you guys because, you know, it was going to fall anyway. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave on a high note. There we go. Constantinople is ours. Create puppet. We have Byzantium's capital now. We are becoming more and more powerful with each episode. And now we're just going to have to go take Nicaea, which is their new capital. And that is a pretty pathetic capital, if I do say so myself. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. And I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, it's, it's, getting, uh, it's getting pretty crazy here. I didn't expect to go a warmongering Venice, but, you know, sometimes those are just the cards you're dealt and you got to play them. Anyhow, next episode, we're going to get another nuke. We're going to continue our war. We're going to finish off our war with Byzantium. I'm sure they're going to be no more. We're going to get Manila as well, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll get another great uh, merchant and we'll be able to buy them out. And then who's going to be next on the chopping block? Honestly, even though they're our friends, probably France. Anyhow, guys, I hope you are enjoying this. And if you are, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. I've been Rick with Stumpton, and I will see you next time.